Welcome back to Brilliant Kata. Are you ready to discuss the most important competency based questions from the chapter? Hello Alkanes and hello Irene. This is for your upcoming 2025 chemistry board exam. Ready all? Let us start question number one. Given below the four halo alkanes compounds. Hope you can able to see that the halo alkane compound. Third bromobutane, right? The compounds are given. Third bromobutane, third iodobutane, iodobutane, bromobutane. Which of them would be the most easily undergo SN1 and SN2 reaction? Which of them would be most easily undergo? You know, SN1 undergo by tertiary the most. SN2 undergo primary the most. Third bromobutane is tertiary, third iodobutane is tertiary, iodobutane is primary and this is primary. Can you say among these two tertiary which will undergo reaction faster? I will say third iodobutane because iodine you know it is the best leaving group make the carbocation faster than bromine. So third iodobutane is the first one. Yes here third iodobutane and uh, uh, which will undergo SN2 faster. Here, SN2 faster means it should be primary. Among primary, iodine and bromo, iodine. Here also, iodine is the best leaving group. You know, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine down the group, their reactivity increases. So, third iodobutane and iodobutane. So, P is the answer. So, SN1, SN2 based question here. Make more thorough. Next question. The table below shows some of the features of SN1 and SN2 reaction. SN1 and SN2 reaction mechanism. SN1, SN2. Question, which of the rows shows an incorrect feature for at least one of the mechanism? Let's see, where is the mistake? You know, SN1, first order kinetics. Yes, SN1, substitution nucleophilic unimolecular, first order. It is second order kinetics, correct. Reaction favored by any type of nucleophile. Yes, nucleophile should be there. That's it. Reaction favored by a non-bulky nucleophile. All right. Reaction favored by a good leaving group. Yes, uh, SN1 and SN2 both are uh, uh, reaction takes place faster when there is a best leaving group. Reaction not favored by a good leaving group. This is the mistake dear. Because both SN1 and SN2 mechanism, there should be a best leaving group. Then only reaction can occur faster. So C is the mistake given. And you know, SN1, there is a racemization, correct? SN2, there is an inversion, Walden inversion, correct? Next one. Which of the following will be the major product formed in the reaction below? With one of the easiest reaction. This is an unsymmetrical alkene, HBr. So that's our Marconico's rule. A negative part goes to carbon with less hydrogen, positive part to more hydrogen. Product will be CH3, CH2, CHBr and then CH3. 2 bromo butane will be the product. That is what option B, right? That's a Br on the second carbon. Next one. Which of the following molecule exhibit optical isomerism? In order to show optical isomerism, there should be a chiral carbon. Which is having a chiral carbon here? Can you check it? 3 iodopendane. No, 3 iodopendane do not carry any. Uh, see, this is what 3 iodopendane, right? 3 iodopendane. It is not symmetrical because this carbon C contain two same group. Where is a unsymmetrical or an asymmetric carbon or a chiral carbon? Can you guess it all? I will say option D, 2 iodobutane. What is 2 iodobutane? This is what iodine, right? This is what iodine. This is what 2 iodobutane. Check it all of you here. This carbon is chiral. Yes, why this carbon is chiral? Because it connected to methyl, iodine, hydrogen and ethyl. All are different one. So 2 iodobutane can show this one uh, optical isomerism. Next one. The image below shows the ball and stick model of four different compounds. One chlorobutane, two chlorobutane, two amino ethanoic acid, two, two dimethyl propane. How many of the above compounds are optically active? Again, they are asking how many of them are chiral. See, one chlorobutane, no chiral carbon, right? One chlorobutane. See, one chlorobutane, there is no chiral carbon. Two chlorobutane, yes, it is there. What about 2 chlorobutane? Just what we said about the previous case. Here, 2 chlorobutane, you can see here this carbon is chiral because it connected to chlorine, methyl, hydrogen, and ethyl. Yes, so one compound is there. 
What is two amino ethanoic acid? You know, ethanoic acid means two carbon. And second position, amino. Two amino ethanoic acid. Two amino ethanoic acid. Is it contained chiral? No. This carbon having same element hydrogen. 2,2-dimethyl propane. No. Neopendrine, right? 2,2-dimethyl propane. Here also no chiral carbon. So only one compound. Only how many of them? Only one compound is uh, optically active. Which of the following compound will be hydrolyzed most rapidly under similar? You know, hydrolyzed, which means water. You know, water is a polar protic solvent. Hydrolyzed means they are approaching SN1 mechanism. Okay, SN1 mechanism. Okay, dear, tell me. Uh, which will undergo SN1 faster? Which is a tertiary? Which is a tertiary? Option C, right? 2 chloro, 2 chloro, 2 methyl propane. Yes, this is what the tertiary we have. We know tertiary undergo SN1 reaction faster, right? This is primary. It is pri uh, 2, 1 chloro primary, primary, 2 chloro butane is secondary. Next, uh, they given uh, which of the following product will be formed as P? What is the final product P? What is this reaction here? Na and dry ether and it is a haloalkane. Haloalkane when react with the sodium in dry ether, that's called our Woods reaction. Woods reaction, you know what's happened when two haloalkane join, the halogen, the halogen removed by sodium and the remaining alkyl group join. But here the problem, both of the halogen are on the same carbon, same compound. Right? Both of the halogens are on the same compound. What happened? Sodium take Br, sodium take chlorine and you get one more bond here. One more bond here. What is the product? That is cyclohexene 3 is the product. Cyclohexene. Because the combo, the both of the halogens are on the same car, same compound. So both of the halogen goes, you will get a bond there. Next one. The image below shows different stages of SN1. Dear. What is happening in first step of SN1? Removal of halogen, removal of halogen and formation of carbocation. And you know, this is the slow step and it is the rate determining step. Next step, what happened? Since the carbocation is highly unstable compound, it immediately react with the nucleophile and form the nucleophilic substituted product. Which out of the two stages, and this is fast, right? Yes. Which of this stage X or Y will be slower and Y? This is the slower step. Halogens, when it leaves, it forms what the carbocation. The formed carbocation, since it is highly unstable, it immediately reacts with the nucleophile and form uh, faster the second step. First step, slow step. Second step, fast step. Consider the reaction between bromopropane. One bromopropane with the iodine ion. Okay, this is our, just like our Fingelstein reaction. The reaction is carried out in a propanone, propanone, propanone is a ketone, right, ketone part. We know acetone, propanone, these all are what, polar aprotic solvent, so SN2 mechanism is favored. The reaction is carried out in a propanone solvent, the rate low for the reaction is found to be, rate low is given as what, rate is equal to, rate constant into the reactant, that is our haloalkane, uh, that is our haloalkane raised to x and uh, the nucleophile raised to y. Yes, okay. Which mechanism does this reaction follow SN1 or SN2? Dear, SN2 mechanism. This is SN2. Why it is SN2? Because the rate determining step depends on two species. Right? You know, what is this two is called? Substitution nucleophilic bimolecular. In the rate determining step, there are two molecules. That's why it is two. If it is, uh, so that is, uh, and also I told you this is a polar aprotic solvent. Polar aprotic solvent, SN2 mechanism favor faster. Okay. Does this reaction follow SN1, SN2? SN2 because it rate determining step depends on both haloalkane and nucleophile concentration. Two molecules. What will be the rate equation for the reaction? For the reaction, CH3 thrice CBr with the I minus. Dear, since it is a tertiary, since it is a tertiary uh, haloalkane, it follows SN1 mechanism. You know, in SN1 mechanism, the only rate depends on the haloalkane concentration, not depend on the nucleophile. So what we write here, rate is equal to K into only the haloalkane, CH3 thrice CBr. Okay, therefore it's unimolecular, order is 1. Alright, that is the answer. 
the table below gives the table below gives uh, the data about four different gaseous compound ccl3f okay chlorofluorocarbons are the cf4 is the question number 1 state one problem what is here given atmospheric lifetime and boiling point okay state one problem caused by the compound q in the atmosphere q what is q ccl2f2 that's our dichloro difluoromethane that's our uh, that's a CFC you may study chlorofluorocarbon freon gases that causes what C chlorofluorocarbon causes ozone depletion ozone depletion you may study it in the in the haloalkane chapter the last part which one polyhalogen compound and their demerits defects and all DDT pesticide insecticide and uh, iodoform chloroform right there's cases is that so chlorofluorocarbons makes what ozone depletion so first answer ozone depletion ozone depletion question 2 which two out of the four compound are more suitable to be used as a refrigerant if it want to be act as a refrigerant dear student their boiling point should be less then only they become vapor faster so which is having lowest boiling point see this is a negative one right so ccl2 f2 and cfo lower the boiling point they are the best to use as refrigerant so they can easily what vaporizes next one for each of the following combination of reagents and condition suggest whether substitution or elimination will predominate where uh, substitution where uh, this reaction happened let's see heating of what is the first reaction here of uh, p p is given as ch3 ch2 ch2 br one bromopropane treated with aqueous naoh what's happened here the oh will replace this br right br leave you get OH nucleophile. What is this reaction here? Nucleophilic substitution reaction. Why? Aqueous. Aqueous means what? Polar protic solvent. In polar protic solvent, SN1 mechanism preferred. What is SN1? Nucleophilic substitution. So since the medium is aqueous, polar protic solvent, the nucleophilic substitution occurs. So first one is substitution. What about Q? Heating of CH3 thrice. What is CH3 thrice? Third butyl bromide with the NaOH in ethanol. NaOH in ethanol. Dear all, alcoholic KOH, alcoholic NaOH. You know, they are act as what strong bases. In the presence of strong bases, what happened? Haloalkane prefer to undergo beta elimination. So halogen go, hydrogen goes, you get a double bond. So second reaction is what? Beta elimination. So first one substitution, second one elimination. What is the third one? Heating of CH3 twice. Okay. This is the compound with what? CH3 thrice CO minus K plus. What is this? This is also what elimination reaction because it's a it is a biggest nucleophile CH3 3 CO minus is a biggest a bulky nucleophile and even the due to the steric hindrance due to the steric hindrance what happened it also undergo beta elimination you will get which one eliminated product that is what propene you get it so first one substitution second one elimination third one also elimination next question for you when 1 bromo 2 methyl propane is heated with the aqueous alkali, it gives 2 methyl propane 1 ol. Nanda suggested the following mechanism for this reaction. Identify 3 mistakes in the mechanism shown below. Carefully observe here 3 mistakes. Can you take it out? What is the 3 mistakes here? What is overall happening? Br is has to leave and OH need to substitute. That's what happening, right? Okay. So the mistakes are here you see bromine charge is delta plus, delta plus. Here carbon charge is delta minus. That is wrong. The polarity is wrong. Since bromine is taking electron, bromine should get delta minus and the carbon should get a delta plus. That is the first mistake. Polarity on CBR bond is mistake. So, oh, that is the first mistake. Okay. Second one. Second one. See, bromine should leave in the step. See OH, the OH actually not living. They said by that uh, arrow, OH is living. No, OH is the nucleophile. It has to attack on the carbocation. So the attack of nucleophile is mentioned is wrong. They given as OH is leaving. No, OH has to substitute. Then only OH will get it here. Second uh, mistake. Third one is, see, 
the oxygen lone pair is missing the lone pair of oxygen is what actually giving and making a bond with the carbon these are the three mistakes in this uh, uh, then the, that's what observed in the reaction below identify p and q can you tell me dear what is the reaction given here there is a chance to make mistake also uh, most of them think this is a halo arene, sir this is a halo alkane sir br br cut they will join you will get ethyl benzene no this is the catalyst to what anhydrous alcl3 halo arene and halo alkane you can join yes that is our woods fittig reaction where sodium and dry ether is the medium but what is anhydrous alcl3 friedel-craft alkylation or acylation this is alkylation so you know halogens are ortho para directing group so the, our alkyl group comes to what? Alkyl group comes to 1 to ortho, 1 to ortho, 1 to para. 1 to ortho, 1 to para. You will get this. Okay. And uh, uh, which of that is major product? No doubt, you know, para is the major product due to high symmetry. And you know, ortho, there is a bulkiness is there. So steric hindrance is there. So always para will be the major product. Next one, you are given two different compounds that can be used to make C2H5Cl. What, this is what ethane, right? CH3 single bond CH3 to which what they are adding chlorine in presence of light. All right, chlorine in presence of light. And uh, of course, yes, you can get this chloromethane. What is this ethane? What is ethane? CH2 double bond CH2 to which if you add HCl, yes, here H plus here, Cl minus here. Yes, you will get CH3 CH2 Cl, correct. We'll get it. Which out of these two reactions will you choose and why? Can you say which is the best method among these two to get this chloroethane as product? I will choose the second one. Second one is the best method because that is the only way to say the product that H plus go to one carbon, Cl go to other carbon. You will get this product always. But in this one, what is this reaction? Chlorine in presence of light. That is our substitution reaction. Since it is substitution reaction here, it can form a monochloro, dichloro, different products like that. For example, Cl1H can remove, you will get CH2Cl and CH3. This is our product, correct. But can the uh, many chlorines will be there. So here one hydrogen, here one hydrogen can remove, you will get CH2Cl and CH2Cl also. So like that. Different products can be occur in the first reaction since it is nucleo. Sorry, it's our free, the, uh, free radical substitution reaction. Many products when formed, their separation will be harder. So this is the only one method. This is the only one product can form. So second one is the most preferred method. Next question: An organic compound uh, with the formula C6H5Br. What is C6H5Br? No doubt that is our bromobenzene. Bromobenzene. React with the CUCN, that's our Sandmeyer reaction. And what do you get if bromobenzene treated with the CUCN? You will get cyanobenzene. So what is P compound? Cyanobenzene. And CUBR, okay, CUCN and CUBR in presence of, okay. Compound P reaction with the dilute HCl. This is what react with the dilute HCl. Forms compound Q, okay, compound Q which react with the methyl alcohol, CH3OH, methyl alcohol, uh, produces a sweet smelling. What is a sweet smelling compound? That is our ester, right? So ester should form. So that is a uh, compound R. Can you identify what is a compound Q and R? The P is cyanobenzene. Cyanide on acid hydrolysis, what we get here? Carboxylic acid, COOH, benzo. So Q is benzoic acid. Acid when react with alcohol, yes, we get ester. So this H, this OH, just cut it, you get that compound benzene with COOCH3, COOCH3. So methyl benzoate, you will get methyl benzoate, that is what the compound R, right? The chemical reaction is yes, identified. So, okay, so these are the questions from the chapter, halo alkanes and halo arenes.